Second time's the charm, hopefully. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. Welcome to another live stream. We are here playing Crossroads Elegy, which is episode three of The Long Dark. Uh, we started playing it last night because it just came out yesterday. Uh, I apologize for those of you who were on the stream, uh, what was it, like 10 minutes ago and something went wrong and it didn't work. I don't know what the deal is. Nevertheless, <laughs> that uh, that stream failed. Uh, and with any luck, this one will work a little bit better. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, uh, ignore that intro and welcome as well. Uh, special thanks to our top tier channel members as always. Uh, Courtney Cure, Zirian Zelos, Mataya Z, JDog11, Nabs1, The Scrub, Still Snow, Toolkit71, Jurgen AD, and Kathleen Hart. Thank you all so much for clicking on that join button and choosing the uh, Mistakes Were Made membership level. Uh, we're still here at the plane crash. This is where we got to last night. If you didn't see that stream, feel free to go check it out. It's pretty long, but uh, it was hopefully kind of interesting. We've got to get the survivor, Gwen, all the way back to town. Um, We've got to keep her warm while we're doing it, so it's going to be a little bit interesting. Yeah, Gwen's a little thirsty, but I don't want to waste water too quickly on her. Actually, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I should, because I can I can actually quickly make some water here while we've got a fire going. Easy. Because I just whip her on the ground. Get down there. <clears throat> Give her a quick diagnosis. Easy. Just gonna see if I can. Nice to see Nightbot's back in. Although I wonder if he was responsible for our sudden stream failure. <laughs> You'll feel better after you sleep. <laughs> I break games because I don't know how to place them. <laughs> All right, let's make a little bit of water here so I have uh, some bonus water on me. I, I wonder if she adds to my actual carry weight. I would think she should, but I seem to pick her up okay, and I'm carrying a lot of stuff already. Uh, let's get rid of these cans. All right, you lay still there while I melt snow. All right, we're ready. Come on, Gwen. We got a long walk ahead of us. It's already nighttime. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And now here's something you really like. <laughs> it's nice to see that Nightbot's finally returned. I did log into the uh, I logged into the application earlier today. Hang in there. I don't think I could get it working. No, I can't interact with stuff until I put the survivor down. That's a pain. So I'm not positive how long I'm gonna stream for tonight. My, I, uh, I've got the, the dreaded school kid cold. My youngest daughter brought cold home from school with her and she decided to share it with everybody because she's just that kind of kind little girl. Uh, my, so my throat's a little messed up. I'm gonna be coughing a bit. Hopefully I'll hit mute enough. You guys won't have to listen to it too much. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. I guess down that path over there. It's not far till nightfall though. Maybe... I should actually set up camp here in this little cave. We're not far now. We're not far now. It's super dark in here. I, I can't. I don't know how to adjust the gamma now that I've already made the start of the game. I tried to look at the graphics to see if I could adjust it without any luck. So I'm gonna try and make sure I use a lantern as often as possible when we're inside. Even though it's gonna use up a lot of fuel. In before Foxer gets unmute after cough. Yep, that's right. It's gonna happen. Inevitably. It's nice that they put a bed in here for her. That was pretty sweet. I think it's all part of their fiendish plan. They wanted me to go this way. This will come in handy. Sure, we'll take these. I'm surprised I can't give her any like painkillers or something. She's got like a big gash in her leg. I put a bandage on it, but they can't I can't feel great. No, no, don't. Why can't I? All right. Apparently, I can't interact with the suitcase. Um, let's see if we can get a fire going in here. I don't know if I used up all my fuel back there. But if we can get a fire, it would probably be best to keep her a little bit warmer. Let's see if we can light her on fire. <laughs> uh, wood matches. Yeah, that'll work. Jess with the super chat. I'm still coughing from my cold. Hang in there. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, I mean, it's not kicking my butt too bad, but. It is starting to mess with my throat a little bit, so I don't know how it's going to handle my voice. I think Gwen's condition will deteriorate more than yours through the night. Work? I don't know. I mean, whoops. What happened there? I failed. I failed. Um, from what I've seen, her condition actually seems to be improving, so I don't know. I don't know if she's going to get worse or better, but I guess we'll find out. Life fire. <laughs> 
Well, that's right. I was I was listening to uh, to Rabbit Dog again. I want to make sure she stays warm. And, and if you want to be really warm, you've got to get the close the fire as close as possible. You know, that means like burning your clothes while you're wearing them. Uh, and fuel. Oh man, I don't really have a lot of fuel. Twenty nine minutes worth of fuel. That's that's not great. I guess I better go find some. Otherwise, it's gonna get a little chilly in this cave. I'll leave that injured person there. And I also can't pick. I, I can't pick fuel that I need to actually well, this stuff will come in like handy. chop up because it'll it'll consume too much time. So I've got to find sticks and stuff on the ground to can pick them. There's no like firewood here. These these branches all need to be broken. Which will put the fire up before I actually get it done. Just gonna get some of these things. I kind of wish I had some coal on me now. And, and I'm hungry. On top of it all. Then I don't have food. You know what, let's take one of these uh, vegetarian dinners. We'll see how that goes over. She's a mutant. <laughs> so I get tired walking around in the snow by myself, but carrying the other lady? Nope, that's no problem at all. We got it. Nailed it. I might have, If I feed enough of these little sticks in, maybe I can break a branch and get some... that'll burn a little longer. Uh, the plane's free heat. Yeah, I guess, well, not really. I, you can't take her inside. I tried that. I actually built a campfire there to, to warm her up because I couldn't take her inside the little piece of fuselage that I wanted to hide out in. Uh, let's see. Add fuel. All right, that'll give me an hour worth so I can go chop up some actual branches now and feed those in and then I'll add more time. I can find the branches. There's one. Fur limb. Uh, 45 minutes. Okay, we can do that. Just recommend it as a good way to heat her up. Yeah. Uh, five minutes. We'll break this down too. Okay. I'm super overloaded. It's getting dark out here, but. Where's the cave? I could turn off the lantern, but it's really dark. Uh, I've had some commentary that uh, it's really hard to see stuff when I don't, when I have the lantern off. I guess I can turn it off when I'm in here, because we got the campfire. Put that away. Okay, let's. Uh, all right, firewood will last a lot longer, so we can add fuel for that. Five hours of warmth. I mean, it's it's not the best, but it's something. I wonder. She's at 74%. She's, she's gonna get up and start walking back on her own soon. Alright, let's get my bedroll out here. Kill some time. Stop whimpering. You're probably in better shape than I am right now. You know, aside from the plane crash. I crashed in a plane too, you know. Okay, TV dinners. Um, can I cook these things on here? Let's see. Cook. Oh, come on! How can I not cook a TV dinner? I feel like I should be able to just put it on the rock and heat it up. Maybe it's like a plastic tray or something and it'll melt. <laughs> well, I can eat pork and beans, I guess. That's a nuisance. Phone just informed me this stream is going. Yeah, so I started another stream and it kind of died on me and I don't know what the deal is, but... We started up another one because that one failed. Pork and beans. That didn't really give me a lot. Disappointed by that outcome. Uh, let's see if what happens if I eat a frozen, a still frozen solid chicken meal. Oh my gosh, it's, it's letting me eat it? Okay. Must be pre-cooked, because you would think I would get like salmonella or something from that. <laughs> you fart sounds. Uh, let's see, I can use some water. We don't really have a lot of fuel here, so I don't think we're gonna be able to sleep here the whole night. Five hours worth. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll go one more log. It's really dark, but we'll try and get one more log, and then we can. Uh, that'll give us another few hours. Hopefully, it'll be light by the time we leave. 
Please, wolves, don't eat her while I'm away. The log, cedar limb. All right, we'll break that down. Firewood and a plug. We'll take it. What's this new game coming out on Friday or Saturday or whatever? So, uh, it depends. So, the new game that I'm playing tomorrow, actually, is uh, The Outer Worlds. It's um, it's a role-playing game that was developed by the people who made uh, Fallout New Vegas. So, if you're into the, like, the Fallout series and stuff, like New Vegas is one of those uh, expansions that, that uh, people really enjoyed. Uh, and they kind of drifted away from... Uh, from that in the the way that they did that style of game in, in the Fallout series, so these guys broke off. They're uh, they're doing their own game, and it's more like it's not, it's not like a Fallout game, but it's uh, like a science fictiony style sort of thing. Not a fuel again, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, I have yes, I do. Thought I had more fuel. Let's refuel this thing. 68% it's at. Look, you're warm, you're watered, I stopped the bleeding, you're at like 83%. I don't really know what your problem is. I'm going to sleep. How long have I got? Seven hours. Seven hours it is. Sleep is good, yeah. Pork and beans are only diet. Well, I've got other stuff too. I've got like beef jerky and like power bars and all that kind of stuff. Airline food's never good for the human body. Yeah, yeah, I would think so, but for some reason, it seemed to treat it as though it was beneficial. So, who knew? I have a feeling I'm gonna need to give her some water too. So, oh, no, I use it all up. Well, I guess I need to make more. Cook that. All right, how are you doing? Ninety-six percent now, mm. and very thirsty. See if I can help. Treat dehydration. There, that should be better. I think she drinks less water than I do. Oh, maybe not. She drank it all. <laughs> all right. Yep, took it all. Good job, lady. I gotta cook more now. You're not cold. Just stop it. Yeah, I can bring her back safely now. She's at like, uh, she's at 100%. She's in better shape than I am right now, I think. Uh, maybe I can make coffee here while I'm here. Let's cook up some coffee. Mmm, coffee. She's whinier than your toddler. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, she did survive a plane crash, so, you know, that's not that's not nothing, but... And again, so did I, so, you know. Just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying, you know? Alright, I'll carry her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot. I gotta pick up my bedroll. I always forget that thing. Here, you get back down there. You're safe now. You're I'm safe here. now. The wolves sound really active out there too, which isn't great. Up now. Camp coffee's Easy. best coffee. <laughs> I wish I could take a, uh, a torch with me, but I have to put the survivor down to interact with stuff. And odds are pretty good I would accidentally light her on fire or something, so it, maybe it's a good thing I can't. So we had a decent sleep. We got a morning cup of joe, so that's all right. It's your doctor keeping your wits about you. Well, she's not that kind of doctor, though. She's a she's like a, a research doctor. Uh, I hear a lot of wolf activity. The plane, boss. The plane. I won't let you go. Yes, I will. I'm putting you down right now. Thud. I got you. Just whip her down to the snowbank. It's fine. She won't even notice. Mark with the super chat. This. Hey, Fox. Just wanted to say thank you for all the amazing streams. Always so positive out and outgoing. Keep up the great work. Well, thanks, Mark. I really appreciate the, uh, the super chat. I am also really glad you enjoy the streams. Tons of fun. 
decent hoodie. I think actually the stuff I'm, I have on me is better than the hoodie. I should probably, well, I've got to land on the ground. I'll get some sticks because we're going to need this stuff. We have to start a fire again later. Uh, no. Let's not spend time on that. You just lay there in that snow. It's uh, it's an insulator. It'll be fine. Rabbit dog said so. All right, we'll pick you up. Stop whining. Up we go. She cooled down a little bit laying in the snow. <laughs> I don't think she liked it very much. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, you know it's funny. On. If a wolf comes along, I'm gonna have to throw her down in a snowbank just to get the, the rifle out so we can defend ourselves. This is not gonna be pretty. Wolves are gonna jump you and someone's gonna save you last minute. It'll be the crazy, uh, the crazy misery lady is gonna save me. <laughs> if that happens, it'll be the misery lady. She'll be like, what did I tell you? It's dangerous out here, stay inside. Come here so I can break your knees. Church artifact. A thief has stolen an artifact for the church at Thompson's Crossing in such a remote town. It's like the artifact has great value. Oh. Thompson's Crossing. Is it down here? All right. Well, whatever. It's gruesome. <laughs> Just slice her Achilles. She won't be going anywhere. <laughs> it does tend to impede one's ability to walk just a little bit. Uh, that's just how it is, Robert. It's um, it's part of the code. You know, we have a bro code. We have a wife code. That's just how it goes. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Nobody likes Gwen. <laughs> Don't give up. It's because she won't walk you. on her own. She's at 100% and she won't walk. The trouble is she's cold and I can't put other clothes on her. We're making good time. <laughs> Are we? It doesn't feel like it. This is good time. I didn't see what bad time is. Oh, there's even a suitcase out here. I do hear a, s a phone ringing. Phone. No, you gotta be kidding me. There's a burnt out building with a phone that still works. I guess this is where I'm supposed to leave her. Is this a bed? No, it's not really a bed. No, you, know, you stay in the snow here. We'll warm you up again. I gotta take a phone call. You just you just relax here a minute. Well, well, maybe I'll start a fire for you first. I'll try to be somewhat kind. Please make it. Yes. <laughs> How is it the phone is working? I, the phone can wait, Scoobs. It'll keep breaking. Come on, <laughs> they can leave voicemail or something on. if it's that important. <laughs> I mean, who who phones these days anyway? She should just text me. You know, it's not for the okay. fact that cell phone towers aren't working. But we can ignore that. All right, reduce fatigue. Let's add some fuel in here. Okay, we'll get her warmed up. And in the meantime, we'll go answer the phone and find out what crazy, uh, crazy misery, misery lady wants. Hello? Me again. How do you know where to reach me? How did you know I was here? Party line's a funny thing. All the calls go to every phone in the area. All I have to do is wait for you to pick up. Um, what do you Oh, it's a party I'm, line. I'm kind of busy. Yeah, I saw you found a survivor at the crash site. You spying on me? Just watching. Curious. Okay, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> you want to tell me what happened to your man? I don't really have time for this right now, Molly. I'll go first. She wants to compare murder stories. You asked about my husband when we were in the house. Not much to tell, really. He's dead. I'm alive. Sorry if this sounds harsh, but you don't seem too broken up about it. I'm not. I assume he's the one in the basement. Did you kill him? He's also the one in my freezer. Is failing to help someone the same as killing them? I guess that depends on the circumstances and the intent. Now you sound like the lawyer. Did you kill him? The wolves killed him. But my intent was for him to die. 
Did Gwen just snore? <laughs> Did I just hear Gwen snoring? She doesn't seem warm enough to be snoring, but I mean... I've got her laying in the snow, but at least she's next to the fire barrel. I'll take all this stuff. Alright, warm up at least a little bit. We're not gonna stay here long though. You gotta get, you gotta get all toasty. Um, maybe I can make another coffee. Let's see, more coffee. I wonder if I can give Gwen coffee. I feel like that would be a good thing if I could. Let's try that. Uh, cook coffee. All right, let's take that. We'll diagnose her and see if I can give her a coffee. Let's see what's wrong here. I mean, she's all warmed up now, but if I could give her the heat benefit, that would be good. Nope, I can only give her water. Well, so much for that. You'll feel better after you sleep. That's right. You sleep. I'll drink the coffee. Wait a minute. Did I not pick up the coffee? I thought I did. Oh, there it is there. It's in a mug. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I'll take it. Whatever. When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is in June, so it's quite a while until my birthday rolls around. It can, frankly, stay way over where it is. I don't really want to get a whole lot older at this point. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want to not get older because, you know, the alternative is slightly distasteful. But I'm not really thrilled about getting older. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Jerry can three liters. Wow. All right, I have enough to carry it too. Sweet. Come on, lady. You gotta go. Just throw the coffee on her. She seems needy. <laughs> Splash! Suddenly, I look like the person from Misery. You want a coffee? Drink that coffee. I won't let you go. At least unless a wolf comes along, and then you're going to be bait. That's just how this is going to work, lady. You can either accept it, I got you. or you can be bait and not you're accept it. That's it. just how it's going to go. Where'd the mug come from? It, it just sort of magically appears the same way that the plastic container does for the water that you boil. Can I, can I turn it back? Okay. Second there, I didn't think I'd go up that hill. She is from the plane crash, yeah. So she was the lone survivor that we found in the plane crash. Everyone else walked into town, and I guess they just left her behind, assuming she was dead or something. So we had to go and collect up all the ID from the dead passengers so that we could give them some closure. Now we're going to take that back to the community center in town, but we actually found her alive. So we treated her wound with a bandage so that she wouldn't bleed out, warmed her up, gave her some water to help dehydration, and now we have to carry her all the way back to town. Hold on. Just hold. So that we can pretend like we did a good deed. <laughs> but really, all the while, we're, we're planning to murderize her. Yeah, I keep hearing the, the howling, but I, I don't actually see the wolves, so. We're making good time. Again, this doesn't feel like. Good. Oh, oh, there's bunnies over there. Mm, bunnies. Make one of those sled things to drag her body. I wish I could. I did find the insulin too, yeah. So it was inside of a suitcase at the airplane. Actually, right next to the survivor. Not, I guess not surprisingly. I think there's something here we need to find. Uh, here, can I actually put her on the bed? Oh, I can. Nope. <laughs> Throw her on the floor while I take the bed. <laughs> Stay with me. That's right. You don't fall asleep. We don't have a lot of time here. Uh, okay, so there was something here that I had to find. Still an artifact for the church at the Thompson's Crossings. Uh, like the artifact has great value. See if we can locate it and return it. So it doesn't say what the artifact is. It's the bottle of water. That's what it is. Uh, but it'll be somewhere in this house here. Remember when you played Fortnite on an Xbox? Yeah, I, I pretty much always played it on Xbox. I didn't really play it on PC because I could never get the hang of uh, the keyboard controls and stuff. That always threw me off. Ooh, bullets. Dog food? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the best. If it's good enough for Spot, it's good enough for me. Ugh, God, maybe not. It's in horrible shape. Newspaper clipping. Stolen from a church in Thompson's Crossing, the artifact was gifted to the parish by a prominent local landowner decades ago, according to Father Thomas, the local parish priest. Though its monetary value is considerable, 
For members of the church, it's a spiritual matter as well. All right, well, whatever. It's got to be this thing here, right? Suitcase under the bed. Undelivered letter. A piece of old paper neatly folded. My Cindy. What now, honey? No cash. Nothing coming. I had to do something. Everything. Everyone's gone. I don't know where this ends, but I'm sorry either way. Things up above... Uh, Things up above on the ridge in that empty basement. Maybe we can call a trade and get out of here. All right, so I guess that tells me where the item is. Up above on the ridge in an empty basement? That's not there. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? I've got to get up there? With her? Oh, this is going to go well. <laughs> it's going to go very well. Yeah, this, ga this play game takes place in uh, northern Canada. Hence the beautiful snowy weather. I kind of feel tempted just to leave her here while I go up and check the ridge and then come back and get her. I wonder what will happen if I do that. Let's see if we maybe we'll shove a little water in her face. I'll see if I can help. No afflictions. All right, she doesn't even need water right now. Okay, I'm gonna see uh, if it will actually keep showing me her condition. No, I gotta take her with me. <laughs> All right, so much for that. Come on, Gwen. Stop snoring. I have to carry you. Looks like New Brunswick. It's a little farther north than New Brunswick, though. I think. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be up in like the more like the Arctic region. Firewood. Okay, so leave her right out the front door. Well, it's cold out there, though. She'll get colder faster. I was thinking, it, like inside the house, she would be protected from wolves and from the, the weather. Don't give up. I won't leave you. But I have to get up onto the ridge up there, which is where I was for the airplane, which really sucks. I don't know if there's even a way up there down here. I might have to go Stay and drop me. her off first and then go back and get it. I got you. We're gonna make it. Survivor carry missions, so you're gonna have to do more than one. Maybe. There was only one survivor this Just time, but... Awake. We're getting closer. I guess it's not impossible. I thought I'd see if there's a cave here, but I don't see one. Hmm. I kind of want to stone a bunny. <laughs> Is that a backtrack? I, mean, I feel like I should just take her back and then come back and do it because I I think I'm, I have to go around the ridge maybe and come at it from this side. Let her be wolfed in her. Well, she'd be a lot lighter to carry if the wolf eats half of her, I guess. There's definitely no running involved this way. <laughs> she did say just to end it. You're right. I feel like it would be a mercy killing at this point. Yeah, you think? That missed! Got one. Your friend's dead. You run away now. Stupid wolves. Hate those things. They scare the heck out of me. Do no harm. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about doing any... Well, the whole do no, do no harm precept is for humans, not for... Uh, not for enemy wolves. Alright, I guess I should just take the shortest route. I'll try and cut right across. Mercy killing. I wonder if you can kill Gwen. Like, if I shoot her, I wonder what would happen. <laughs> I kind of want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Where its fur and showed dominance. It takes a long time to skin the animals and stuff and, and get food, from, like meat from them, so... I don't know if I should do that, because I, I, I've, got, I've got a limited amount of time to work with here. She's going to get cold, and I'm going to have to heat her up again. Save the file. Save the file, shoot her, and see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I want to go for the artifact, but it's... It's way up here, and she's already getting cold. So I think I'll, I'll take her back, and then see if I can come back up here. Unless the game just doesn't let me, and then that would really suck. Heat her up again sounds like dinner. <laughs> well, we couldn't heat up the uh, the frozen uh, the frozen airplane food, but let's see if we can fall through the ice together. This will be fun. Hang on, I have you. <laughs> I 
Crunch splash. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry lady, you got doubly frozen. When we get back, I could be like, look everyone, I brought you popsicles. Yeah, I know she's really low heat, but I, I want to get into a shelter before I try to start a fire. <sighs> Don't freeze to death, lady. I mean, she laid underneath an airplane wing for two days in the snow. I feel like she could handle a short little walk. Not much farther now. Hold on. Just hold <laughs> on. Gwensicles. <laughs> if I get in here, we'll have protection from the wind, and then we can heat things up. There might even be uh, a barrel in here we can start a fire in quickly. Nope, maybe not. There's a straw bale in here. Oh, there is one. Aha. I can find a place to put her down. There you go. You lay down there. I've got you. Don't worry. Is there a fire? Wood matches. Stick. There we go. Better. Uh, we're not near Molly's barn, I don't think. I think we're near the. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's not that far away, but we're near the barn that I stopped at on the way away from. What's her face's place? Is it Molly? Is that her name? Add fuel. Flamed wood. Bunch of sticks. Okay, she's warming up already. See? He's easy. It's a flashlight! Hmm. Okay. 25%. Uh, not okay. It's like a flashlight, though, even though I can't use it right now. Feet are cold. <laughs> are you getting cold just watching this? Is that how that works? One reclaimed wood. That That didn't really get me a lot. Pry bar, I can't do anything with that. No, I need more fuel. Oh, I guess coal bin. Never mind. No, all kinds of fuel. And fuel. Perfect. Time's it. Oh, it's like the middle of the day. Okay, so when she's warmed up. No, oh, she's already warmed up. Uh, all right, we'll have a snack and then we'll get going again. Let's see, a little bit of dog food is going to go down great. Mm -mm -mm. Sloppy and juicy. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is Molly. <laughs> You're right. I completely forgot I said that. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have a drink of water, I guess. And this then we'll set serious. out again. This might be serious. You have no afflictions. <laughs> Maybe it's not serious. Cold coffee. Get the the alert benefit, but not the heat benefit. No way around this. All that fuel, you're leaving burning. Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't uh, wasn't thinking of the time of day when I fired all that coal in there. Gently now. Take some with us. I hissed up all my sticks and stuff, so I can't even make another. Thirty-four point five eight. Yeah. A on the heavy side. Carry you. Go for the ridge? It's way up here. Like, I'd have to double back, like, all the way back to the way we came. And I don't even know the way up there. Like, I don't want to walk around and, like, stumble around in the cold with her forever. Hold on. Just hold on. Yeah, I'm leaving the pry bar because I already have one. <sighs> Suddenly, blizzard. Bam. Place the survivor in the coal bin. <laughs> I feel like that would work. Brilliant. And then if we light it on fire, she'll stay warm while we go get help. So this is the barn we stopped at when we left Molly's house. It's the bear. There was a barrow here. I forgot we saw a barrow here. <laughs> I 
Get me. Put her down. That's booked them, but they're not gone. That didn't. That was a bad shot. Reload, reload. Don't reload, don't reload. <laughs> don't reload. Shoot her. Ah. They're strafing me. They're not even jumping me. Oh, right in the noggin. Whew. Okay, did I get hurt? No, oddly enough. Not so much. Come on, go in. We gotta go. Easy does it. I <laughs> need a shotgun. Yeah, something I don't need to aim with would be great. <laughs> That's right. If we if, see if she'd been in the coal bin, I wouldn't have had to worry about it. Yes, it's cold, I know. Welcome to winter. If you shove it down the throat, you don't have to aim. <laughs> well, there's that too, I guess. Hoping the wolves will be scared of me for at least a little bit, because I killed one of them, but... If only, yeah, if only the tractor worked. If only everything worked, we wouldn't be out here. Uh, there's a bridge off to the left here I can take. Let's do that. Can you use bandages as a gag? <laughs> no, doesn't really give you the option. That would better reflect reality, I feel like, but no, not a choice we can take. Man, if we amputate the hands, should be... What terrible sound. I don't hear a terrible sound. Hold on. Just hold Unless on. those darn wolves come back. Would it be awesome if there was a fast travel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, with how long it takes to get around in this game, they do a, they do a pretty good job of like making it feel like an immense environment. Oh, I see. She's fantasizing. She's not fantasizing. But she's having nightmares about the uh, the plane crash. We can make it. That's what the problem is. Oh, here comes the snow. Don't blizzard on me now. I don't want to get lost. <laughs> Shove her in a hay bale and roll her along. <laughs> Those hay bales are the uh, or straw bales or whatever they're awfully heavy. <laughs> it's pretty tough to roll that thing. User is a sled. You guys are all cruel. Can't you see she survived a plane crash? She's been through enough. Hang on, I have you. Wind's picking up. They do such a great job with the atmosphere in this game, like from the music to like the the wind and stuff and the snow and it does feel very desolate. You should tame the wolf and use it as a sled dog. <laughs> yeah, there is a little bit of music. It's very subtle, but it's there. I won't let you go, seize bear. Well, she's all yours. <laughs> it's true. You don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the bait you leave behind. What's funny is I've got more more winter clothing on than her, but my, uh, my cold seems to go down faster than hers does for my temperature. Maybe it's because I'm sweating my butt off. Hold on. 
Just hold on. I got you. We're gonna make it. Do you think I'll ever stream survival mode? I find it harder. Uh, I don't really know. Maybe. Survival mode's been out for a super long time. Uh, I played the story mode mostly because I was interested in you know, what they had to show that, that was like built in the... They kind of used like the survival mode as like the scaffolding for the game. And then built all the story mode onto it. So I was kind of curious to see what they uh, put in for the story, but yeah, I might be interested in trying the survival at some point. She's fat with me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe she's got a little more insulation than I do. See what the pastor has to say about this. He's gonna say it's because he gave me his uh, his rosary. He'd be like, I knew that rosary would come in handy. I was like, that's right. I threw it at a wolf. Scared it away. Place Gwen on an occupied bed. <laughs> I wonder if it'll actually just lay her across it. Oh no, she she actually laid down properly. <laughs> okay, where's this uh, insulin dude? Is it Dimitri? Let's see what's wrong here. Insulin. There we go. Treat affliction. Now. You need it. <laughs> it's gonna, the insulin's got to be frozen solid. Come across any gems or meteors? Nope. Otherwise, I'd be beating up wolves with it. How does she know what his dosage is? I hope it's written on the bottle or something. Sorry, we put him into an insulin shock. We gave him the wrong dosage. New objective: return IDs. I'm sorry. Found her. She didn't survive the crash. I'm so sorry. I don't think that's what these people want to hear. Eric, I found your dead person. I'm sorry. I couldn't find who you were looking for. I hope they survived and they, they're safe somewhere. I didn't find Please them all. Find them. I did find them. Well, some of them. I didn't make it through the crash. How do I know who these people were I'm with? Sorry. I found her. I found her who? I don't know that she's, he was with a companion. She, she didn't make it. That's right. In research school, she learned the proper dose of insulin. Of insulin. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't find them. Find them, please. <laughs> Yeah, we're playing a, a female character now. We're, we're Astrid. So, um, episode three came out just yesterday, adding more to the story, and now we're playing as Astrid. I'm sorry. I found her. She didn't make it through the crash. Didn't survive the crash. Is that everybody? We got them all? Oh, I still can't talk to that dude. What am I missing? Ruby. He didn't make it. She's an oracle, knows all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still can't talk to him. Did I not tell everybody? He died in the crash. Is that it? I think we got them all now, right? No, I still don't. Are you kidding me? Who haven't I dealt with? You're fine. You're all right. You got a thing going on. Winston. He's no longer with us. <laughs> I still have another. Sorry, I couldn't find them. I didn't think these were all like Keep crash survivors. Looking, please. Keep looking, please. <laughs> I thought the idea was that some of these people were here, I'm but sorry. they weren't crash survivors. I, I thought they had wandered in from somewhere else. She didn't survive the crash. I'm so sorry. There we go. Talk to the father. Oh, he slid. Did the little Michael Jackson you move. Made it. 
I prayed that you would. Yes, I made it. And I found another survivor. In bad shape, though. Found the insulin, too. Thank you, my child. This is a big help. I'm not your child. The weather's turning worse. I fear another blizzard is on the way. How can you tell? The farmers of Pleasant Valley have been part of my flock for years now. Over that time, you start to see the patterns of things. Blizzards are common this time of year. We're due for another one any day now. And then what? Normally, we'd hunker down with a stack of firewood, a full pantry, and wait it out. And now? Even with what you've done, we'll have to pray we survive long enough for the weather to clear. Prayer is your thing, Father. You handle that. Between the plane crash and the houses in the area, I'm gonna pull together whatever supplies I can find. Maybe between the two of us, we can keep these people alive. May God watch over you, my child. Chapter 3, Coming Storm. Still some names missing from the passenger manifest. I became delirious and wandered off, baby. Okay, so I presume I have to find... Oh. <laughs> Locate and return the missing survivors. Look, they're right there. They wandered off to that spot specifically. Curiously close to Molly's place. Another one over there. Oh, man. Really? If I gotta carry them back, or are they just gonna be dead? Locate and return the missing survivors. Alright. I guess they are really alive. Here's a number of survivors from Black Rock Prison bus crash have found their way into Pleasant Valley. Investigate to see if events in Milton have followed you through the mountains. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, well, we're all warm and stuff. We might as well go out right away. So, still, still a decent amount of daytime left, too. <laughs> Your human flesh can go a long way if you make it into a broth. You just have to look at where the survivors might be. I wonder if this is actually on a time thing. Like, can I go past them all the way up here to this thing and then come back and get the survivors? I think that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to get that missing artifact and see what the deal is with that. At least without a... Without carrying somebody now, I can run. Kind of nice. Oh, let's make sure the rifle's reloaded. Ooh, it's low on bullets. That's going to be splendid. Artifact hunting. Forget the survivors. We need artifacts. I thought I had, uh... I thought I had some rocks still. Oh, there's one right there, actually. Let me grab this thing. Give me that rock. Alright, bunny. You're mine this time. Ah, oh, I missed! I can't remember how, like, where the, uh... Where the aim point is on the rock throwing, exactly. Okay, bunny. Up. Oh. Yeah. Ah, behind it that time. Where did the rock go? It's a magic rock. Everything vanished. Oh well. Bunny's not that important. We actually still have food and stuff on us, so I don't really have to... I don't need it as a matter of priority. <laughs> I threw a rock at him. He was a big rock. <laughs> What's the name of that episode? Almost got him or something like that? Maybe it's the top of the thumb? Maybe. Something like that? I don't know. The famous potato aim. See, I can do it with rocks. I can do it with bullets. I can do it with arrows. <laughs> I can waste ammo like nobody's business. And apparently I'm overweighted. What the heck? Why am I carrying this so heavy? I picked up some extra stuff that... Oh, you know what? Maybe these... These are quick repair. 
one of your favorite episodes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I do that I through a rocket and thing all the time. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? No, oh, cancel. I have uh, snow pants on. I don't even... Completely wasted that. All right, let's see how these compare to the ones I'm wearing. 71%. 77. All right, we'll wear those. These ones will rip up. Tried to break an ankle? Yeah. There we go. That got us back in line with our carrying capacity, at least. You fell asleep. Aw, oh, Jerrigan, if you're that tired, you should be sleeping. Worst case scenario, you missed get me getting eaten by a bear. I mean, it's not really that big a deal, right? No. I don't want to find the survivor yet. I want to go around them. What are the rules on that? Be like, I tell you what, Frozen Survivor, you just wait there a little bit. Just chill. I'll come back for you later. Canadians not gonna aggravate. Let them know I'm close. Uh, yep, I could do that, but we're not gonna. We'll do it on the way back. Need to make some brownies. If you're gonna make brownies, you gotta share them too. It's, it's a cardinal rule. It's like the number one rule in brownie making. Cobra chickens. <laughs> we have a bunch of a uh, bunch of Canadian geese that like to lay eggs outside of our office in the planters, and they sometimes will attack people when they're coming out of work. <laughs> Fortunately, I've never been attacked by them. But lonely homestead. It is a lonely homestead out here. Oddly enough, I'm getting warmer, even though I'm out in the snow. Hope nobody <laughs> needs this anymore. Lick the brownie bowl clean. <laughs> I've gotten the, like a bunch of the fishing tackle, and I have yet to find an open spot in the ice to even fish. Hit a goose bite your toe once. It hurts when they bite. You got a real pinch. I mean, it's not like getting bit by a timber wolf or something, but. You know. <laughs> Canadian geese are protected in Canada. We can't, uh, we can't kill them. Even if they're being mean. Look, it's walking dinner. You're lucky I have enough food on me already, dear. Yeah, I can do ice fishing. I have uh, I have ice fishing tackle. I just um, like a line and a hook, basically. Oh, don't run me over! <laughs> I have a line and a hook, so if you find like an opening in the ice, you can fish through it. Okay. What are the odds that I have to... I wonder if I have to, like, go up on the path and attack... get to the ridge from the left-hand side here, or if I... if I have a more direct route. I think I might have to head for the path. Which means I probably should have just stayed on the road in the first place. Yeah, correction, you're lucky I'm almost encumbered. Yeah, that... You are correct. That, that would be more accurate, I guess. Well, and I don't really want to walk around with a bunch of raw meat on me because it attracts the wolves. First Nations kill Canadian geese all the time. Well, First Nations have a different set of laws than, uh, than the average Canadian do. They can hunt outside of, like, hunting seasons and stuff also. See you, Shy Pig. Uh-oh. 
It's another wolf, but that one's walking away from me. I'm going the wrong, wrong direction here. Lost a little ground. I should have just gone on the road the whole way. <laughs> that was a that was a warning shot. And it I wasn't trying to hit you, I swear. I shot a tree. In case you're wondering, aiming in this game is hard. <laughs> there we go. That was a waste of ammo. I've only got four rounds left. I still have the bow, but I left the handgun behind. Yeah, take that, nature. <laughs> I was just trying to get sap. That was my. It's all part of my plan. It was a perfectly legitimate shot. Give <laughs> the tree doesn't jump out, it might be. Or you. It's got a pretty mean bark. I mean, you never know. It might bite. Hashtag dad joke. Oh my god, how do I get around here? Use the flares too. Well, I also need the flares to get the survivor. Oh, I've got the. Um, the, the Chemical flare things. I could use those, I guess. Instead of the flare gun. Okay, there's... I gotta get down there. Oh, man. I'm gonna hurt myself. Oh, God. I'm falling. <laughs> Please don't die. Oh, you can walk down a pretty steep slope. That's impressive. Oh, come on! Minor bruising. Okay. Nothing serious. Damage a little clothing. Yeah, the marine flares, those ones, yeah. Uh, I already hit up the bunker that's nearby. I got in this one here. That one we already raided. She's way tougher than her ex. Yeah, like he falls a foot and he sprains ankles and stuff. She jumps down just like gets a little minor bruising and rips her clothes. Yeah, it is a little weird. I got down the I got down the the, the bulk of the cliff without any issue. You also need a migratory bird license? <laughs> Illegal hunting season for Canadian geese in BC. October first to December twenty third. Oh. See I didn't think you could hunt them at any point. I thought it at least I thought in Ontario you couldn't, but Goes to show what I know. I know it's definitely not legal to run them over with your car, though. <laughs> Splitter pants feels the draft. So chilly. Ooh, who let the wind in here? Oh boy. How do I get the flares? All right. I gotta get. I need to get the. Um, I gotta put those flares on my hot bar. These things here. Oh, I can't. All right. Well, we'll keep it out, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference in the daytime, but look at flare in the pack and attach it to the radio. It doesn't seem to give me the option. The best I can do is just equip it. Kind of weird. Do I no? <laughs> no, you don't want to know. <laughs> want to drop an atomic elbow on some fool goose? Go ahead. Ready to give him an old widowmaker? You're within your rights, sir. <laughs> As long as it's only the WWE wrestling moves. No Greco Roman. <laughs> I thought it was a wolf and it was actually my stomach. Whoops. I knew that.
Over capacity, too. <laughs> Foul goose. I don't know how you get, like, thirst quenching out of eating condensed milk. Because I really don't feel like that would do it. But whatever. I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> James, it's not kids channel. It's just family friendly. I'm trying to keep the uh, the chat family friendly because sometimes my kids will watch uh, watch the content and stuff. <laughs> mm, condensed milk. Sprain risk. I thought I got below the weight limit. I must. Oh, you know what? I'm tired. Hold on. Hold on. I got a solution for that. Somewhere here, I've got a. Yeah. Chug one of these puppies. Pound back that go juice. Ooh, it filled me right up full. And made my vision all weird. What is in that go juice? When playing console, you can activate the flare with the same button you fire the gun. Oh, like if I hit a, if I hit two, for example. Oh, flare gun. Yeah, no, that just seems to cycle through my weapons. Maybe one? Flashlight. Flare. Yeah. Alright, so I can hit the number one to get to it, I guess. Did I see this house out here before? No, I didn't. This is where we're going. The remnants of the house. This would have taken a long time to get up here if we were still carrying uh, Gwen with us. Simple tools. Kind of handy. Usable for basic crafting and repair. One kilogram. I, I mean, I have... I have a good set of tools already. Climbing rope. Wait, 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 wait. We can throw a rope down. Take it. Usually when they give you the rope, there's a spot like right nearby that you can use it. So hopefully we can use this to like go down the cliff. This pack is getting kinda heavy. Yeah, I know it is, but just suck it up, lady. Take all that stuff, but can I walk up this? Nope. So this is where the artifact is supposed to be hidden, though. Looks like this has been here a while. Salty crackers, sewing kit. No, thank you. I can't go inside. It seems like we're at the point. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's this house over here. I'm super overburdened right now. Yeah. Four kilograms overburdened. Sprained my ankle. Aha! That was a weird sound. Was that me? <laughs> this basement's in remarkably good shape considering the condition of the rest of the house. Hunting knife. Perfect. That would be great, but I can't really take it because I don't have the carrying capacity right now. Sewing kit, first aid kit. Grape soda. Sports socks. So, I mean, I think it should be right here. They were definitely on the spot. It's got to be in this thing. This stuff will come in handy. No, it won't. Those are no good. Huh. It's almost like it's underground protect for the elements just like yeah. Well, yeah, but still. So I don't see the thing I'm looking for down here. Nor do I see a clue. Looks like this has been here a while. Last resort sardines, they're in good shape actually. 
history part three newsprint wow how the food's here is actually in good shape it's super unusual all right uh, I'm gonna put the lantern out for now just while we eat because I'll be in the menu anyway what can I eat that's in reasonable shape maybe chow this thing down Oh, I don't even need that much. Oh well. Under the washer dryer, in the ice box, hacks on the femurs. It's never in the vent. <laughs> Loose boards by the flare. Okay, we'll go check that out. Um, I guess we'll have a soda too while we're at it. <clears throat> I'm carrying a lot of weight, but if I can get rid of that mountaineering rope, it's like five kilograms, that thing. Oh, there it is. Loose boards right here. Church artifacts. Zero kilograms. Good. Old, finely crafted cross. Museum worthy in its quality. Yoink. And by home, I mean I'm putting it in my pocket. Where we might consider keeping it. Okay, it is currently starting to be nightfall. Um... I'm not cold in here, so I guess I'll just sleep in here. Oops. Sleep in here until daytime rolls around. I can eat some more stuff, and then we'll uh, get out of here. Do the, uh, the big 12-hour power sleep. Uh, what's that noise? <laughs> Vampire hunting chapel. All right, daytime's here. Pick it up. Yeah, the cross had no weight, so I guess because it's like a quest item. Um, okay, let's uh, have a drink of water. I'll pretty much tap out all the water, I think. Yep, it's gone. Uh, we need some wet dog food, because that always makes me feel better. Eh, yeah, we'll have condensed milk, actually. That's a horrible buzzy noise is never a good sign. Yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, we can get rid of some of these cans. I got a few of them I'm carrying now, I think. Yeah. Too much weight on me. I think I had rocks on me too, didn't I? I had at least one rock on me, I thought. Uh, new simple parka. I forgot I grabbed that. How does that compare? Decent ski jacket versus new simple parka. Oh, new simple parka is better. Score. When you the basement, you got a quest to check behind the loose boards. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I'm super observant. As I'm sure you've already noticed. I just used up all the fuel on my lantern again. As I'm sure you've noticed, nothing gets by me. I have a crazy amount of antibiotics, so we can get rid of these. Not that they weigh much, but... All right, it really comes down to that rope. So I'll either I'll either use the rope or we'll get rid of it reasonably soon here. Toss the lantern with this fuel. It's useless. Oh right, I have a jerry can of fuel. I forgot about that. I could refuel the lantern. That'll drop some weight also. Uh, where is it here? Oh yeah, it's two point five six kilograms. That's that's gonna give us a good weight drop. We'll shave a whole kilogram off. Totally forgot I picked that thing up. Still overweight, two kilograms, but it's not that bad. Oh, the weather's wonderful. I think we found the storm. I 
I feel like there should be a spot here that I can tie the rope off so I can get down easy. Uh, that would not be the spot. I wonder if the wolves come out in this weather. <laughs> nope, this is its own little enclosed area. Losing heat fast. Triple heat loss. That's great. Well, shoot. I've got a, a little bit of shelter right here. The thing is, I don't think I can make a fire in the basement. And without a fire, I can't... Uh... Yeah, I know you're cold. Without a fire, I, I can't make any more water. You know, shower, you're nasty. <laughs> See you, evil. <laughs> Come on, little fire. Come I did on. check behind the loose boards. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh yeah, that's a good one. There we go. And fuel. There we go. All right, let's cook up some water. Sure, I can carry much more. I know I can't. I'm overloaded. Fire in the basement of a wooden building. I see no problem with this. Yeah, you know, just starting a fire inside an enclosed area. I'm sure it's really no problem. Loose boards empty. Well, I mean, we can certainly wait it out in here, but I don't know how long the storm's going to go on for. Carry so many heavy rocks just to make that fire. Yeah, I don't know where the rocks come from. They're like magical. I'll take that even though I'm overweighted. to do was mute the things so I could cough. I actually switched off the lantern. Alright, we're going to defy logic. We're going to go outside in the snowstorm where the fire is. How are your clothes doing? Need any repairs? Yeah, they probably do. I, I ripped some stuff when I slid off that rock. Oh, the snowstorm's gone. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> nope, never mind. Still here. All right, let's check our clothes out. Sixty-six percent, uh, so we could repair this thing. Failed. How do I just fail? I've never failed at this before. Huh, I didn't even realize he could fail at repairing things in this game. 98, Failed again. What the heck? I wonder if it's because I'm outside in a blizzard. <laughs> Ninety-five percent success rate, and he fails. What is the six com? Yeah, pretty much. Eighty-two, seventy-two. Oops, no. It'd be bad if I harvested the shirt that I'm wearing. Affliction risk, hypothermia. I'm in front of a fire. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> Whoops. 
Mistakes are made. Forgot about the whole time thing. Too many to start a fire. Okay, well, that rules that out. Instead, we go. Okay, it's warm enough in here, I guess. I'm gonna have to wait this. I'm gonna have to wait the storm out in here. I, I can't do anything outside. It's just too cold. Too cold and too stormy. Um, what else can I repair? And my clothes are wet now. That's even better. Socks are in okay shape. Boots could use repairing. You also have problems sewing in a blizzard. I guess. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know why it would be a problem. I feel like they're just, she's just complaining. She's kind of a whiner. Alright, I guess uh, the only thing we can really do is sleep to try to wait for that storm out a little bit. Because I, I can't go anywhere. Hopefully it's not the big, the, the big snowstorm I was supposed to try to rescue the people before. Try a fire inside? Yeah, we could do that, I guess. But I don't really need to heat inside so much. It would just be for, like, cooking or, or getting water. Oops. Uh, wet out blizzard is on the way. Find the three survivors and collect enough supplies in the hell kitchen to keep everyone alive until the storm passes. So this must not be the blizzard. It's just a blizzard. Yeah, we can't start a fire indoors, which I mean makes sense because we would die. You know, that whole the whole oxygen thing starts to become a problem. <clears throat> I mean, there's a dryer here. I guess I could throw my stuff in the dryer. All right, sounds like the storm's passed. It's nighttime now, but I know it's dark. But we'll go outside and see what the see what things look like out here. Look at the water hockey gloves she's wearing, too. Yeah, they're like ski gloves or something I found. Okay, we're good. We're good-ish, anyway. It's a, like nightfall's approaching, but I guess, you know, all things considered, it's not that bad. Okay, I need to get down off this mountain. Uh, there is a little bridge back over here. I wonder if I actually have a way to get to that. Shouldn't run, I'm overweighted. Oh no, this whole thing's like an enclosed in a little rock area. Alright, forget that. See if you can tie off to a tree to repel. Well, normally what'll happen is uh, it'll give you a specific spot you can tie the rope off. So, like a rock or a tree stump or whatever. But you can't just pick a random one and do it. I do feel like there should be a spot here that we can repel, though. I mean, they gave us a rope. Unless they're just trying to tease me, which, you know, is also possible. There, that rock right there, for example. I can repel on that, I bet. That'll drop five kilograms of weight off, too, which would be great. No more purple scalp? <laughs> Did you get all the dye washed out? <laughs> There's already a rope here. What the... Huh. Well, I don't want to take the rope. I want to use it. Too encumbered to climb. Oh, come on. You know what? We're leaving a rope here. That's it. I've had enough of you, rope. Uh, I need to lose two kilograms. Oh, if I, actually, if I drop firewood. I dropped two kilograms of firewood, lost one kilogram of carrying weight. How did that work? Where's that mountaineering rope? There it is. Five kilograms. Drop it. There's already a rope here. I'm using this thing. I don't know why I'm trusting a rope that's just like out here in the wild. Tied onto a rock for who knows how long, but whatever. We'll take it. No! It's right there! 
There is a second spot I could use the rope. I gotta go back up. It's dusk, so it can't be far behind. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, all right, let's drop. We'll drop this thing. That should give me what I need. Please tell me I can climb up the rope too. Okay, we're good. How many days have you survived already? I honestly don't know. Uh, we're playing the story mode as opposed to just like the open world survival. So I haven't been paying as much attention to the actual number of days so much as just like following along with the story progression. Okay, get off the rope. Thank you. Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? <sighs> what can I throw away? Drop one of these. That didn't do it. That'll do. Drop the rope. <laughs> Where did that? That was a bit of a waste. Take a poo. <laughs> That'll drop some carrying capacity. I mean, the things we put inside our body don't count towards our weight, so. Man, it's getting dark out here. Deploy mountain rope. Okay, we can take this fuel back. Uh, when I get to the bottom of the rope here, we can crack out the lantern so I can at least see where I'm going. What are we throwing off the cliff? <laughs> Tell that to your pants. They say cookie dough aid affects your weight. <laughs> yeah. This game doesn't quite take it that way. They've got different game physics here. <laughs> Okay, we're close to the this guy over here. I guess that's where, that's where we should go first. Oh, look, it's Bunny Central down here. Ooh, wait, we can sleep here. Perfect. Assuming there's a, uh, a bed in here, if not, I guess we can use our sleeping bag. As long as I didn't accidentally leave it behind. Oh, right. This is where I stuck Astrid. Or not Astrid. Uh, Gwen. It was Gwen. Energy drink. All right. Sleep time. Uh, where's the bed? Eleven hours of sleep in some random cabin. That can't possibly go wrong. How is it still dark? Drink deep, my friend. Down the rope on top of a bear, that would be funny. Yeah, funny for you. <laughs> uh, two hours should do it, I think. We just need enough daylight that I can get out there and not have to use a lantern. We're already reasonably well rested, I think. Survey says, yeah, jackpot. All right, so what have we got here? Banged up dog food. I think I looked at these before and they were horrible condition. Yeah. Even the even the energy energy drinks in bad shape. I thought those things never spoiled. Just don't eat the porridge. You read a book where that pissed off the owners so and they got eaten by a bear. <laughs> Whatever book could that be? Yeah, we'll go this way. That is one noisy woodpecker. The spam that never spoils. <laughs> Most canned products, I mean. They all spoil at some point, but... Spam might be one of those things that could outlive the apocalypse. I think you might be right. Those and Twinkies. That's it. We've decided we're going to subsist on Twinkies and Spam. Huh. I, th 
thought I might be able to just go right up the other side there, but it's all rocky cliff-like thing. I might have to go down to the bridge that's over here. Can you eat trees? Oh, I guess I'm hungry. Smeet survived for a long time in Waterworld. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're getting a snack and dropping some weight at the same time. That's anticlimactic. That's when well, I anticlimactic, but it's uh, it's a little reverse order now. <laughs> we're eating to lose weight. <laughs> McDonald's never spoils either. I'm not convinced about that. I've seen the lettuce on those burgers. Yeah. I guarantee you, it goes bad. <laughs> Twinkies and spam, that is the apocalypse. Alright, yeah, I guess we gotta take the bridge that's over here. I just light the tree on fire. No more woodpecker problem. Plus, you get roasted poultry for dinner. Or fowl or whatever. Yeah, honey never goes bad. That's right. It'll crystallize and solidify or whatever, but it won't go bad. No, I haven't grabbed any cattails yet, but I, I don't know that I've even seen any. I've seen, like, grasses and stuff near the water's edge. Like, these? Oh, well, there's a cattail right there. I Everywhere I've gone, I've seen, like, the grass poking up, but this is the first time I think I've actually seen the, uh, the cattails poking out. Tough, not very filling, filling, but edible. Cattail head. Can be used as tinder. Twinkie spam sandwich. Oh, that just sounds so repulsive. <laughs> I think I'd rather die in the apocalypse than eat that. <laughs> the cockroach will not touch Velveeta nor mold that says something. Yeah. Same thing with like margarine. Put out a tray of margarine in the garage. The bugs won't touch it, mold won't grow on it. It's not really food. the path down here I wonder and why makes me think there might be a house or something up here but right now we're gonna go look for survivors it's repulsive adding bread to Twinkies and spam Okay, this is taking me places I wasn't really planning on. My clever shortcut is not turning out to be such a shortcut. Can I go up here? Uh, that would be a resounding no. You don't think pasta goes bad? It does. Pasta definitely goes bad. Granted, it's all dried out and stuff, but it, it starts, like, after a certain amount of time, it gets this really odd texture to it. If you don't believe it goes bad, go find like a really old box of craft dinner. <laughs> the noodles get pretty funky. Alright, I guess we'll cut across here. Find our first survivor. Fried spam and mac and cheese. Ugh. I mean, if I need to survive, I'll eat almost anything. I've eaten bugs before, but... I would not be inclined to, like, choose spam as a choice. Oh, great wolves. You know what, what I should do... Let's have one of these flares handy this time. No, wait, I thought I was gonna equip it. There we go. Well, keep this handy. Hopefully it'll scare the wolves away. If they come in close. Because I'm getting low on bullets. Yuck, bugs. Well, little, like ants. Ants are a little bit like strawberries if you take their legs off and stuff. but And the head, because you don't want them getting like stuck. I feel like those wolves are over there because there's a survivor nearby. Ketchup on mac and cheese is gross. My kids won't eat it without ketchup. Great.
How are they supposed to see a flare when I, in, in this weather? Okay, hold on. Do I have to shoot it up in the air? Is that how this works? Yeah, <laughs> up of very reloaded, I guess. <laughs> Can you see that in the in the in the blizzard? Oh, jeez, it almost landed on me. <laughs> oh, over here. It's so windy out here. I can't even make a fire. I'm gonna have to find like a something that gives me shelter from the. Did I say I hate being cold? Yes, yes, you did. I really do. All right, I can't. Uh, I can't look for this person. I gotta get some shelter here. Oh, never mind. I found him. Who? They got fire. Don't pass out. Don't pass out. Don't pass out. I'm here now. Whew. I'll take these too. Thank you. Wade, forty-eight percent. Jazz for the super chat. In Canada, red is a food group, hence ketchup. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Jazz. Appreciate the super chat and the understanding. Let me have a look, okay? Wade's not looking so good. He's got no afflictions, though. Even though he's really thirsty, I don't understand why it says he's... Maybe because I can't do anything about it. Let's uh, cook up some more water. I can make coffee, actually. That will make me, uh, make me a little better, better off. <coughs> Excuse me. Auto save guess it's bear time. <laughs> better not be bear time. Let's see what. All right, maybe now that I have water, I can give him some, because he's. Or maybe he's not my maybe he's not in my care yet. Maybe I gotta pick him up before you I have to take care of him. Hey, he had some soda. I guess there's that. We're a pretty long way off of the town right now. Middle of the day. Well, we have an infinite infinite fire here. I guess I'll sleep. I'm trying to get rid of some of the uh, some of the storm by sleeping through it. Did it blow over? Did it blow over? It did. Good. Okay. How about you, Wade? How you doing? Hmm. I'll see if I can help. Still no afflictions, but it says he's thirsty. I don't get it. Maybe I really do have to pick him up. No way around this. Okay, maybe now that I've picked him up, it'll consider that I actually have him. And don't fall asleep. Stay with me. Maybe I can give him water now. I'm gonna check you over. Maybe he's unconscious. Maybe that's. Oh no, there we go. Now we got it. Feeling better now? I didn't have to carry him all the way back. I just had to carry him at all, I guess. Snack, and then we're on the road. You tried punching him in the. Oh. <laughs> yup, nope. You didn't have to punch him. It's fine. Up we go. He's just a little luggage. It's still good. It's still good. Okay, the wolves weren't far from here, so I'm gonna have to be careful of them. I picked the guy that was farthest away, too. Go me. Maybe he has the thirst for life. He doesn't look like it. He's not talking or moving or... Well, he's still breathing, I guess. Just hold on. He must be heavier than Gwen was, too, because I'm moving slower. Don't leave me. 
Oh, he's awake. Go to the one building first. Oh, like, I, I can't leave them behind, though. I tried that. I tried leaving one in a building so I could go out and search for the uh, the missing relic from the church. They wouldn't let me leave them. Wait a minute. How did I get in here? If, <laughs> if this is a little drop-off. Yeah, the person doesn't count as weight, but like if I pick up a bag of chips, it counts as weight. <laughs> I guess it's to get over the fact that you'd have to like carry nothing with you if you had to accommodate their weight too. Molly might be hungry. Leave me, Molly's. Hey, Molly, you want a leg? You light my load. Oh, there's wolves. You'll be okay. Come on, switch to the flare. Light it! Light the darn flare! No, oh, no! Get off of me! That time it actually jumped me. Maybe moving was a good thing last time. Alright, you know what? I have a few bullets left, but that didn't work. <laughs> Point blank shot missed. I'm a sniper. I've got one bullet left. This is terrible. Oh no! <laughs> I fumble. Oh god, save me! I'm gonna die. The wolves are gonna eat me. That's all there is to it. Draw the bow, draw the bow! Draw the bow! Oh! No! Oh, darn you wolf! Oh, right in the... Okay, I'm dead. I'm, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. One down. Whew! Okay, I got a bandage. Blood loss. Oh, yeah, I'm bleeding all over. Uh, right leg. I seriously need to work on my aim in this game. Okay, we're healed up, but uh, I've got like two arrows left. Can I take the arrow from this guy? No. That sucks. Okay. Come on, Wade. We gotta go. Easy does it. That didn't work at all. I didn't get the flare going in time. Oh good, there's another wolf. Hooray! I don't wanna go to Molly's house. I wonder if that's part of the same pack. I wonder if it'll be afraid of me still because I killed its friend. Should just shoot him in the face with the flare gun? Yeah, that might work too. Which reminds me. I want to make sure the flare gun's loaded. I got you. Don't worry. Now let's go here. Reload. All right. I wish I had the handgun now. It doesn't kill them as easy, but uh, I had a lot more bullets for it. Toss the bacon the other way. Yeah, I'm going to swap the rifle out for the for the revolver when we get back to the center, because I have a whole bunch of bullets for it that I don't have for the rifle. I got a long way to go. Use the ballistic flare. I tried it. I, I couldn't light it in time. The flare's not on the Hot Wheels, so I, I can't, um, go say hi to Molly. Hey, Molly. Go. Hey, Molly. Can you take care of my friend here for a bit? I'm sure you're fine, right? You can be trusted. <laughs> Cover them in maple syrup, yeah. Sweet. That's right, I reloaded before the wolves arrived this time. First time for everything. There's another one of those bunkers near here too, and I 
Can't do anything with it while I'm carrying this guy around. At least it's not storming anymore. Molly makes pies. Yeah, like Sweeney Todd kind of pies. She's gonna grind up the guy in her basement any time now. Make a delicious meat pie. Oh, don't tap me, buddy. Whatever last name is, love it. <laughs> If I can get to the road, it might make better time on the road than we're getting across field. I wonder if it reduces the chance of running into wolves, too. So many green pies. Sweeney Todd, the demon butcher of... Uh, was it Fleet 3? Body in the basement was probably her husband. She just can't part with him. <laughs> Maybe... I mean, it was her husband. At least she said it was. Unless... Unless Molly is one of the escaped prisoners. But I think um, I think her picture was in the house, though, so it, just, it, it can't be that. Oh, there's a fence I can't get past. Great. I can see the road, but... Oh, there's an opening there. Okay, good. Sorry, I had to cough. <laughs> You've heard the taste of soil and green varies from person to person. Uh, there's a barber shop in your town opening called Fleet Street. That's funny. <laughs> I recommend not getting your hair cut there. Unless you're a really big fan of meat pies. And I don't mean eating meat pies. <laughs> Okay, we got the road at least. So, can it finally do it? We nuked the USA. You'd be amazed what 40 megatons of we can make bacon, it. maple syrup, and hockey pucks can do. <laughs> Take that! Maple syrup everywhere! Now we have a much more insidious plan. We're going to convince everyone to wear plaid. And say A all the time. The burning The burning. burning It's cold. How are you the burning Oh, this is such a long walk. You're okay with wearing plaid, eh? <laughs> Take off, eh, you loser. You look like Al Borland in it. <laughs> Just find yourself a Tim the Toolman Taylor, you'll be fine. You look like a lumber. <laughs> Evel, you're funny. You're a lumberjack, huh? <laughs> Just teach them curling. That's right. It's got to be about like curling, drinking beer, having maple syrup and bacon, wearing wearing like plaid flannel, and uh, saying a lot. Oh, and don't forget to have a moose around, eh? Got to keep a moose nearby. Pet beaver. Hang on. <laughs> oh yeah, a lumberjack. <laughs> See, I knew it. <laughs> Poutine, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the poutine. Just let them have to go back. My head. <laughs> we'll stay club. We'll steer clear of the politics. <laughs> I don't want to get into that debate. <laughs> I won't let you go. Hey, like take it easy, eh? We're like taking you right back to the town, eh? You can have some like. Some beer and some bacon with some maple syrup, eh? You'll be fine. There's nothing a little maple syrup won't fix. Sky. Oh. 
Yeah, <laughs> where'd this guy go? He's looking at the ground so long, he doesn't even know where this guy is. <laughs> you got Florida, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Florida man. How many people do you know that actually talk like that? Um, zero. I know zero that talk like that, Evel. It's just all the stereotypes rolled into one big ball. Most of those stereotypes coming from the uh, the movie Strange Brew, but I have been out on the East Coast in uh, in Newfoundland where uh, the dialect is a little bit different. Not this was the first survivor. Well, we got spoiled. Nope, this is, we found one survivor at the plane. Hang this is there. survivor number two, and there's two this. others out on the map. Like, you can see them out here. There's another one here, and another one over here. But man, is it a long way to carry them. We walk so slowly. And this guy's getting cold, too. I gotta get inside. Rick Moranis does? Yeah. <laughs> Dangerously funny pretends like that sometimes. He's Canadian. Yeah, can actually, um... He's in, uh, he's in a Discord that I'm in. He's so, he knows way too many. Well, Dangerous Funny lives out west, so there might be a little bit different. So I'm in southern Ontario, where we're pretty close to the U.S. border. And pretty much all the customers that I, I deal with and a lot of people from my company are U.S. also. So it kind of smooths out my smooths out my Canadian accent a bit, I think. Except on certain words, like out, about, and about. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, he's uh I think I think dangerously funny's out in like Alberta or something. <laughs> Everyone must say Toronto. <laughs> Toronto, not Toronto. Yes. If somebody says Toronto, you learn you know they're not from around there. It's Toronto. Southern Ontario is like the northern Florida. <laughs> I, I wish the temperature was like that, but yeah, not so much. <laughs> oh, thank God we made it. That's only one of three survivors we got to carry back. This is craziness. Oh, look, another bed magically appeared. Nope, oh, what happened there? Here, so it's okay. It's okay. I found his cross, but I can't give it back to him, I guess. Oh, I got to actually return it to the church. I bet that's the deal. Let's go see if we can... Well, I don't even need it. Let me see what I got here. Do I have water? <laughs> 0.19 kilograms. I do need to make more water. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need food, so we might as well eat these. It's like people saying New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did, you, did I do any of the Tall Tail missions? Uh, I am not sure. I've got like black rock over here. This one is, uh, well, apparently that's also black rock. Joplin's bunker raid. I'm working on that one. This one over here is church artifact. Oh, that's just, that's, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think I've seen anything tall tale related. Don't forget the gun. Yes, you're right. I gotta swap that out. Thank you for the reminder. Well, let's eat these things. They're not Marth Watch, but, they, but they're edible. Such as they are. Okay. Okay, what can I get rid of? Well, I mean, I know I can get rid of the rifle, but... Flashlight's no good to me right now. That can stay here. Rifle can stay here. I'm not really looking forward to when I have to leave and I have to, like, drop all this stuff. Or, like, or rather carry it all. <laughs> Transfer all those. All right, that'll do. Got like ten kilograms with the with the capacity now. What the? Shh. Give me all these. They want to make sure you have the flare gun to be able to get the survivors, I guess. We're stocked on flares for a while. Talk to a family member, then we're trying to... Oh, yeah, I guess I gotta do that, right? <laughs> Do 
be funny for him to, uh, to go with uh, with just a flare gun. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot that. I forgot the revolver, didn't I? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. All right, we got that. Oh, I need the cleaning. I need to use the cleaning kit on it too. Revolver ammunition transfer, all that. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I mean, the flare gun is probably fine all by itself anyway, but for the most part, as long as it scares the timber wolves away. Did this person I bring back not even have a friend? Really? Nope, I guess not. Oh, Father Thomas. The storm is coming and the people are vulnerable. Don't delay, my child. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was worth talking to you. Thanks, buddy. Your igloos don't have power. <laughs> they have an ice hotel out in uh, it's around Montreal, is it? Or is it near Quebec City? I can't remember now. They do a nice a nice hotel in the winter. That has power. Man, I feel like I'm moving so fast now that I can run. Okay, uh, where do I put this? This should make the priest happy. Hoidicht. I should check back tomorrow. Return to the church tomorrow. What, is he going to be in here? Instead of where those people are? All right. Oh, I'll take a book with me. Except for fire starter. I wanted to visit the ice cool hotel, but when it came to book the tickets, you got cold feet. Oh, bump, bump. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, I gotta check back tomorrow, I guess. Alright, so we can go over here. We'll check out Joplin's bunker raid, and then we'll come back here to get this guy. Or gal, I suppose. We don't know what it is. I think we're gonna have to gather supplies for the church, too, which I haven't really done much of. And by much, I mean none. Sorry, I keep having to mute to cough. I think my throat's almost toast. Brownies are baking. I want brownies. Good morning from Israel. Well, hello in Israel. A decent number of people on the stream. 470 or so. It's not tiny. Should be a good spread of people. So I know a bunch of you are from North America. Aside from Liren, who's in Israel, who else is from an, uh, another country? Maybe something across the ocean. I'm in Canada, by the way, so I guess, you know, across the ocean for me. <laughs> Wow, I should have brought more drinks. You're not from this planet. I believe you, rabbit dog. I totally believe you. Portugal? Cool. Hong Kong? Awesome. Hey, Garrett. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, Durgan, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone who's here now was here earlier. <laughs> Oregon? Does Oregon count as another planet? Canada's across the lake from here, yeah. Minnesota. Okay, so we could go left and go get the, this guy, but I'm going to go over here and try and find this Joplin bunker thing and see what kind of cool stuff they got in there. Portland's definitely another planet. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you people just hating on Portland. I've heard Portland's a wonderful city. Just in case there's anybody out here that might be from Portland. <laughs> Hello from Sweden. Hello, Sweden. New Mexico. Nice. Oh, you're sharing brownies with everyone in... Ch oh. You're not sharing brownies. I see. Fine. Be that way. Keep all the brownies to yourself. Greg's in California. I'm kind of jealous right now, Greg. It's uh, the, wind, the weather's starting to turn up here. It's getting a little chillier. It's not like this yet, <laughs> but it is getting colder. Remember what happened last time you passed the survivor for loot? You got over encumbered and trapped by a blizzard. <laughs> yes, this is true, but I still want it. Especially if there might be some rifle rounds in there. We could use some more of those. I kind of want to go back and see what Molly's up to also. See if she needs her handgun back. One bullet at a time. The place is still burning. Yeah, the plane crash is still burning. It's never ending. It's pretty bright too. Not, not really any missing it. Okay, so the bunker should be down here to the left. Somewhere. Pretty sure we're looking for another, like, actual bunker that will have, like, the trap door thing on top. Eighty three in Houston. Nice. Sounds warm and toasty. There it is. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't spray an angle. Open sesame. <laughs> no more caffeine. Uh, am I inside and it's just dark? <laughs> That was really loud. Why can't I? Oh, I think something bugged out. I'm, I'm not inside, but I'm not outside either. Oh, wait, I can see things, just barely, but I, I can't. I can't pull up my menu. What's going on here? And I put the gun away. All right, hold on. Save game. I couldn't light the lamp. It wouldn't let me go into my inventory, and I also couldn't use the, the quick wheel thing. When I pushed on it, it was showing me the objective, but it wasn't... Uh... Oh, yeah, something's toast here. Quit out to the menu. Try going back in, see what happens. No! I just saved it! I thought I did. Wait a minute. Load game. Last checkpoint. Oh, all right. Well. <laughs> it's getting late anyway. I don't want to have to repeat the, that walk right now. That really sucked. You're dead. No bug. You're dead. <laughs> All right, well, it's, uh, it is after midnight my time anyway. I'm already starting to lose my voice a little bit. So I think uh, we'll use this as a natural opportunity to uh, to call it for tonight. Uh, we can continue on and find the rest of the survivors. And I'm going to try that bunker thing again tomorrow night and see if uh, see if we can get in there without the screen going all black on me. But thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. Uh, if you don't like currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Uh, tomorrow night I'm going to be playing uh, The Outer Worlds. I have access to the game one day before launch, uh, so we'll be playing that tomorrow night. Uh, that should be kind of fun. Uh, and then I probably will play that on the launch day also, and then we'll figure out when we'll be playing The Long Dark next as well, because I do want to finish out Episode 3. Uh, there's kind of a lot of games I'm trying to play right now. But thanks again, everyone, for hanging out tonight. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.